Hi, I'm Mummy Dear. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share all the reasons why I think the Dyson Hot and Cool Air Purifier is a baby must have for me and perhaps for you too. Stick around. How much are you willing to pay to know that your baby is breathing in clean air and that the temperature in the room is neither too hot or cold? What if all this can be controlled with one device remotely on your phone? Yes, the Dyson Hot and Cool Air Purifier has a premium price tag from $600 to $800 depending if you get it refurbished or on a discount. I would highly recommend that you compare the price on different selling platforms online before you go ahead and purchase. Having used this from the moment that my daughter came home from the hospital, I can say it was worth every cent. Here's why. Reason number one, it ensures clean air for your baby to breathe. The Dyson Hot and Cool Air Purifier contains a HEPA filter, which effectively and efficiently remove gases and 99.95% .95 of air pollutants and allergens. This is of utmost importance, especially for babies with allergies and asthma. The smart technology measures how clean their air is inside your house as compared to outside your area. What's more, the automatic function makes the device kick into action and purify the air when air pollutants are detected inside your house. If you plan on using the air purifying function continuously, then make sure to note that they recommend changing the filter once a year, which costs about $100. So make sure to factor that cost in. Reason number two, it provides continuous monitoring and control of the temperature in your baby's room. If you download the app onto your phone, you can control the air quality and the temperature of your baby's room all remotely on your phone. That means if you want to change the settings as seen necessary, you won't have to go into the room to interrupt your baby's nap or sleep. Talking about not interrupting your baby's sleep, it even has a night mode setting that tunes the machine down to the quietest setting and dims the LED display. How considerate is that? The following are bonus reasons why I don't regret this purchase one bit. First of all, it's aesthetically pleasing and it replaces the function of multiple devices, a fan, a heater, and an air purifier. So you don't have to have different machines in the room or to switch them out for different seasons. You can use it all year round. And who knows how much energy you're actually saving because you don't have to tune the whole house's temperature up and down to suit your baby's needs. The device is easy to clean and it's safe. It's a bladeless device and there's no hot surfaces even with continuous use. There's even over the top settings like set your schedule that you can use to personalize your settings for your needs. Now I want to show you the Dyson Pure Hot and Cool Air Purifier in action. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna start off at the lowest fan setting and increase it steadily so you can hear how loud this device can get. It starts off at one, and this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. If you press the oscillation button, then it starts to go back and forth. This is the angle that it swivels at. You can obviously turn this fan into a heater and you can adjust the temperature at which you would like to heat at. Now if I go back to the fan setting, suppose I have it on at a higher setting 
and I want to make sure that it's not too loud to wake the baby, I can use the night mode and immediately it dials it down to the maximum setting of four, the quietest setting that is still tolerable to the baby. And the LED display dims at the bottom of the device. There are a few final details I thought I would show you in person. First of all, as you can see, this device is rather compact as compared to me, and I'm a small person. The remote fits magnetically on the top of here, and the whole device can pivot upward like so, or forward in its natural position. And that's why the Dyson Pure Hot and Cool Air Purifier makes it on my baby must-have list. I hope that answers some questions for those of you who are looking to purchasing one. If you have any further questions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to support by hitting the like button, consider subscribing, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!